In the UK, the government has committed to not just build back better, but to build back greener. With substantial investment and in clean growth throughout the UK, new tech and innovations are emerging from every region to power the way to a greener future. The government's 10-point plan stretches across the whole of Her Majesty's government. There's so much we can do to help investors to really pinpoint the right opportunities in the right areas and the right industries for them. We're ranked first in Europe for growing and scaling a business, first in Europe for our overall attractiveness as an FDI destination, and second for R&D FDI. And all of this, plus commitment from the government in terms of the £12 billion it's put into this space, and the fact that we have a growing consumer base here interested in green and sustainable technology, makes us a really exciting investment destination. The Northern Powerhouse has the great cities that were part of that first industrial revolution. It's got the world's largest offshore wind farm, Orsted, and it will have an even bigger one in Dogger Bank, which is about to start construction. There's over 24,000 foreign investors in the north of England. Between 2014 and 2019, it got £47 billion worth of foreign investment coming in. So it's an area that a lot of companies have successfully made their home. What I'm most excited about, about the North and its role in Net Zero, is the fact that we're bringing together an industrial heritage with a real technological hunger. You've got the real melting pot for a green industrial revolution. The Northern Powerhouse has been a very effective forum to support the growth of business in the North. Drive Power Station is big. We have six power generating units, and we've converted four of them from coal to biomass, which is a renewable source of power. When we decided to do that, it was a very radical move. People said you couldn't get as much efficiency from biomass as you could get from coal. Well, we've proven that not to be true. Now, we are the largest renewable power generator in the UK. The government has done really well as they've put in place a regulatory system which has encouraged private sector investment. And our investors have invested over 700 million in biomass power generation. The next step in our journey will be to do more carbon capture and storage for our biomass power generation and actually permanently removing CO2 from the atmosphere. There are opportunities in the green space all over the UK. I think about the investment partners coming in and seeing that as well as the overall attractiveness of our business environment. There's really never been a better time to come and invest in the UK.